How you doing there? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Today we setting up new test stuff. 59 of Masech Teridor, friends. Well, mm, today we continue talking about like when stuff grows, what implication does it have for the stuff that was there initially? Exciting sugya. We had said yesterday that, well, we had kind of, I guess, gotten to a place yesterday where we said that when things grow, they can sort of nullify the initial state of things. So, Masiv Romim Bar Choma, Somim Bar Choma asks Akashu, at the top of Daf Nun Tesu Meral, Konim Peir Se'elu Olai, that we learned in our Mishnah, a fellow says that Konim Peir Se'elu Olai, that, uh, that uh, fellow says uh, he's not going to eat these fruits, okay? Konim Hei Nalpi, I'm not going to put them on my mouth. Konim Hei Lifi, I'm not going to put them to my mouth. Oh, they are Konim to my mouth. So they're also, if you, you know, uh, sw- you know, switch them for something else, or also if you plant them and they grow, they remain also. If he says that, you know, whatever, whatever he's, uh, g- gonna eat or taste, well then it's permitted, uh, he's permitted with, if you swap them out or if they, you plant them and they grow. Now when do we say that it's limited to only gidulein, uh, chilufein vikidulein? That's something that the seed decomposes of Abadavash ain't zaru kale, but if the seed does not decompose, that it remains intact even after you plant it. Afilu gidule gidulein, asurin, well not, it's not just limited to if you, um, you know, plant it and then kind of what grows from it, but even if then you replant that, then it even extends to what then grows from that new. No. So what do we see? So we see that when it comes to konum, that we, we see that when it comes to um, these things that are um, also, right? You said that you, you know, you're not going to get any benefit from it. And the growth remains also as well, even when it grows more. And it doesn't nullify the initial state. So I'm Rabab shiny konomos. So Baba says, yeah, but, but Konamos vows are different. Like we learned yesterday that a Dover Sheyeshlo Matirin, something that you can, um, permit. And we're saying that a Konam, a vow, you can go to, a a, 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 a sage and, and get it permitted. You can do a Taurus Nadar. So because you can permit a konam, a vow, so it's considered like a dover sheyesh lo matirin, and a dover sheyesh lo matirin, a filu be'elef lo bato, dover sheyesh lo matirin doesn't become bato. There's a little thing flying around over here. The, I mean, doesn't he realize I'm recording Babylon Talmud? You can't just fly around while I'm recording Babylon Talmud. Go, go fly around some other place. Excuse me. Okay, uh, that fly around thingy is no longer flying around. Uh, it's uh, yeah, not really doing much right now. Uh, okay, let's go right there. Um, okay, so Amr Ami Shani Konomos Hov Iboy Mitchell Alayu Havluk Dovashesh to Matin Vein Bottle Barov. Okay, so when it comes to a konum, when it comes to a vow, so then um, uh, when it comes to a vow, so um, um, because you can permit it, you can do a taras nedarim. So therefore, it's davar sheish l'matirin, and that is why even when it grows, it remains uh, not allowed. Very trume. Oh, oh, oh. What about trume? The boy mitchil ale. Trume. They were if I said something as trume, and I changed my mind, I could, you know, nullify it. Right? I could do a. You know, it says, uh, the Ran says, I de Pesach, or Charote, Kishar Nadarim. Like other Nadarim, there are ways to kind of undo the, this designation of Trume. And yet, Uvat Leberov, of course, we know that Trume can be bottled a hundred parts to one. The Tananis, we learn in the Mishnah. So, a Trume Tmea, if you have a saw of, uh, a measure of Trume Tmea, of impure, impure Trume, Shinof Lufachos Vimea Chulin, that fell into less than 100 parts of Chulin Terakif. Well, uh, because it's Truma Tmea, so it's just, it needs to, um, rot, right? It's not bottle, Barov, and it, it, there's nothing you can do with it. Hold the Mea, Tyler. But if it was 100 parts to one, so if it was Truma Tmea that fell into 100 parts of Chulin, so then Tyler, it becomes nullified. And therefore, but since Truma is something that you can be matir, shouldn't that be considered a dovashesh lo matirin? And therefore, it shouldn't be bottle? So what's pshat? Ami b'truma b'yad koyin askinan. Lomatsi bin shalala. So the Gemara says, well, you could say that that is talking about 
truma that has already been given to the koyin. And once it's already been given to the koyin, it fell into the uh, mixture. So because it's already given to the koyin, it can no longer be mitchell, it can no longer, you know, uh, take it back, you know, and undo the truma designation. And therefore, it's a dover she'ein lo matirin, and that's why it's bottle 100 parts to one. Yihachi, but if we're talking about uh, truma that's already in the hands of the koyin, ema seifa, but what about the continuation of that Mishnah? Im haisa tehora, timach koyin. But if it was truma tehora that fell into this mixture, and it was less than 100 parts to one, so just sell it to a koyin, implying that it is not in the hands of the koyin right now. So rather we'll say, you know what it's talking about? A, an Israelite, a non-koyin, a Yisrael, that his mother is a bas koyin and her father is a koyin. And he died and he, en- he inherited his grandfather and there was truma that he inherited. So therefore it's not in the hands of the koyin Right, therefore it's not in the, um, therefore it's not in the hands of the coin, but at the same time you're not gonna be machilale, you're not gonna undo it, right? I mean, it's already been given to his grandfather, his grandfather passed away, inherited it. So it's not a coin, right? And, um, at the, at the same time you can't undo the Truma designation at that point, so we're saying sell it to a coin if it's Truma Tame. So, that's what it's talking about, and because you can't undo the Truma designation, that's why it would be bought to 100 parts to 1. But one second, when it says that that um, you know if it's um, if it's truma to Horus and you sell it to a coin minus the value of the truma itself, because that you wouldn't that, that the coin wouldn't have to pay for. But if we're talking about this fellow who inherits truma that was already given to his grandfather, then it entirely belongs to him. He could sell all of it, including the truma part. If it was right, if it was just in the hand of the Yisrael, of a regular Yisrael who has truma that he separated, and then it becomes tamin, it gets mixed together with other stuff, and he has to sell it to a coin. So he could sell it to the coin, except for the value of that of that uh, truma, because that that right that the coin doesn't have to pay for. But if we're talking about where he inherited it, he could sell all of it. So it can't be talking about where he, uh, this grandson is inheriting his grandfather. Ella Ema. So rather, the Gemara says no. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. It's talking about a fellow has truma. And the truma gets mixed up with other stuff. Now, the, right, we're saying that if it's less than 100 parts to one and it's truma to horror, sell it to a coin. So now the question is, why? But we're saying that if there's 100 parts to one, then it becomes bottle. But if we're just talking about regular truma by any, the hands of Yisrael, so it's technically something that he could be shoel, right? He could technically undo the truma de- designation. In which case it should be considered like a dover sheesh to matirin, and why is it bato b'meya? That's the Gemara's kasha. Because after all, by the konam, by the vow, when he says that he's not gonna, uh, right, when he says that he's uh, not gonna eat Paris, so then the, um, we're saying it's also even bigidule, right, even if they grow, and they don't become bato. So how come we're saying that the konam does not become bato, and yet the truma can become bato? And we're saying that the truma, that the konam does not become bato, because you can, uh, be, do a ataris nadarim, and therefore it's considered a davar Shouldn't we say the same thing? Say the same thing by truma. So elo ema b'shlama konam is mitzvah lechule alei. Look, when it comes to a konam, when it comes to a vow, we don't want you to be vowing, and we want you to be doing ataris nadarim. Mishum de Ibn-Nasen, like we've seen from Ibnasin. The Amr Ibn-Nasen says Ibn-Nasen kol anoder kilubon abama. Fellow makes a nether. It's like he built in an unauthorized. Uh, uh, um, altar. And if you off, and if you makaim the nether, it's like you're offering an unsanctioned offering on an unsanctioned altar, right? We don't want you doing, um, uh, making the dharm. We don't want you being makaim the dharm. We don't want you to have anything to do with the dharm. Therefore, we encourage you to do ataris the dharm. And be, therefore, that makes a nether something inherently that's treated as a davar sheishlo matirin, and therefore it does not become bottle. Contrast that with truma, where we don't, you know, Nu says the Gemara, truma, my mitzvah the truly There's no mitzvah to undo your truma designation. We want you giving the truma to the coin. And therefore we do not consider truma to be a davar sheishlo matirin, and therefore it's bottle, it's bottle, and you know, the, the, the ratio being 100 to 1, but the point being that uh, it can be bottle because and it, we do not treat it as a davar sheish lomatir. Gufe, we had said earlier on daf nun zayin. So I guess that's already two days ago. 
Amr Biochan says Rabbi Yochanan literal bitsalim the onions. You have a measure of bits, of onions from the uh, but but okay onions shetikna vizara and you um okay so you have onions you have onions and you um separate chumas and maestros so now they're chulin right you had onions they were tevel you separate chumas and maestros now it's chulin okay you now plant it you now plant it mis aseris you have to separate chumas and maestros you know based on the entire thing i.e. the Initial stuff that you had already separated as uh, truma semisis from, and it was chulin, and you replanted. It basically becomes when 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 you replant it, and then it you know more growth comes, it becomes nullified. It becomes you know we it becomes as if it never existed. And when you separate truma semisis a second time, you know with the new stuff, you have to also include the stuff that you replanted, right? It became nullified to the new growth. That's what Yochanan says. You also rab of the Rabbah was saying over this uh, teaching of Rabbi Yochanan. Omer le Rav Chizde, Rav Chizde says to Rabbah, Man tzoyiz lichol Rabbi Yochanan Rabcha. Who's going to listen to you and Rabbi Yochanan, your Rebbe, who you're quoting? Even though Rabbi Yochanan wasn't actually Rabbah's Rebbe as far as I know. Rabbah was involved, Rabbi Yochanan was in Eretz Yisrael. But Rabbi Yochanan is saying, I don't understand what you're saying in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, you and Rabbi Yochanan. Heter sheboin leichon olach. I don't understand. Says Rabbi Chizde, I don't understand. He had these onions. He separated trumas and mysis. The onions are now chulin. He replants them. There's new growth. Why does he have to separate trumas and mysis nochamol from the stuff that he had already separated trumas and mysis from and then replanted? That, that stuff that he replanted was already chulin. He had already separated trumas and mysis. Why does he have to separate from those nochamol when he's separating now from the new growth? I'm reading that again. Right? Where did the permitted stuff go? Why is it becoming forbidden once again? Where did the permitted stuff go? Omele, Rabba uh, uh, um, replies to Rav Chizde. Milot nan de kavoso. But one second, don't we have a Mishnah that says bitzolim shodolim geshamim? That if you have onions from the sixth year of Shemitah, so you know the the regular non Shemitah onions, and then now it's the seventh year Shemitah. Viyar do aleim geshamim and I guess they replanted and it rained. Vitzimchu and they grew. Imhoyu olin shelohin shchorin asurin. If the leaves in the seventh year become black, then that means that they had extra growth from the ground and were treating them like kedusha shvius onions. Horiku mutarin. If the leaves are green, so then they're permitted. They're not considered like they grew from the ground. Vichi shchorin amay asurin. And Rabbah responds to Avchizna and he says, I don't understand. Isn't the Mishnah saying that when you have these onions from the sixth year that you replant in the seventh year and then now the leaves are black and we're saying that they're Asurin, why are they Asurin? Shouldn't we say what, what, you know, the, the part that grew on the sixth year was permitted? Where did that permitted part go to? Shouldn't we say, that the permitted part remains intact, and yet we seem to be saying that the Gantz onion, the entire onion, is also. So we do see that the additional growth can be mavatol, the initial growth. Omale, to which Rav Chizda retorts, he responds, Misavert al Iker Katani. Do you think that that Mishnah is saying that the initial onion is also? Atosefes katani asurin. When it says it's osur, it's only the stuff that grew in the seventh year, but the initial part didn't go anywhere. And that would be permitted. It's from the sixth year. Ihachi, but if that's the case, responds Rabbah. My osur, Abshim ben Gamliel lememer. Then what is Abshim ben Gamliel coming to add? And the Tanya, as we learn in the Bible, Abshim ben Gamliel, Amos says Abshim ben Gamliel, Hagadel bechiyuv chayiv, Hagadel beftur potter. That Abshim ben Gamliel says that that which grows in a state of chiyuv is chayiv, and that which grows in a state of Tour is potter, meaning the the part of the onion that grew in the sixth year when it was not shemitah, so that does not have kedusha shvius. The additional part that grew in the seventh year, that when it was shemitah, so that additional growth does have kedusha shvius. So we comp- compartmentalize based on what was in the sixth year and what was in the seventh year. So, so basically, Rishon Mengam Liel is saying that it's only the extra growth that would have kedusha shvius. So if now Rav Chizda wanted to explain the the Mishnah, 
right, about the, about the onions in the sixth year that you replant in the seventh year and it grows and the leaves become black. Rav Chizda wanted to say that, that Mishnah, when we say that it's also, it's only talking about the additional growth. But if the Tanakam is only talking about the additional growth and Rav Shimon Gamliel is also only talking about the additional growth, so what's he adding? Right, so again, Yochim, I also Rav Shimon Gamliel lememar. What's Rav Shimon Gamliel coming to say? What's he adding? The Tanya, as we learn in the Brisa, Rav Shimon Gamliel almost says Rav Shimon Gamliel Hagado b'chiyuv chayv. That which goes in the state of chiyuv is chayv. Hagado b'ftur potter. That which goes in the state of ptur is potter. Tanakama nami yochiyomer. That's exactly what the Tanakama said as well, according to Rav Chizda. So Omar kulam aslis Rav Shimon Gamliel katoni lo. So says Rav Chizda. Look, the entire thing, it's all Rav Shimon Gamliel. The Mishnahs of Shimon Gamliel, the Brises of Shimon Gamliel, it's all the opinion of Rab Shimon Gamliel, and it's that the extra growth is what is Osir. Okay, fine. So Rabba agrees. Okay, so Rabba says, fine. Okay, I hear you. Fine. The Ad Khan Lo Shamas Late Rab Shimon Gamliel, the Lo Katarach. Now, Rab Shimon Gamliel is only saying that the extra growth is Osir when he didn't actually do anything to be um, um, toreach. Then when we say that the extra growth does not nullify the initial the initial amount, the ikr, so that's only when the loka toreach, when he didn't actually do anything to be toreach, right? For example, right, if the, uh, you know, it was, what did it say? It said that you have these uh, um, um, uh, onions from the sixth year and then it was the seventh year and it just kind of rained, right? And, 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 and it rained. So we say that, that, right, that the initial part is not bottle. But if he actually like worked and replanted them, bottle buruba. So then, then the additional growth, uh, if it's the majority can be mevatel the ikr. But one second, wherever he uh, exerts effort into planting it, it's bottle burov. But what about the example? What about the example that we had, uh, I believe yesterday or two days ago, yesterday, of the meiser that was given to the levy, and the, it's tevel for the levy until he separates shumas meiser, and then he uh, plants it, the katarach that he that he put in effort to plant it, vikatoni, and it says v'osa litra meiser me'aser lav makum acher lefichesbin So we said in that case. The levy gets meiser, and he, it's tevel until he separates shumas meiser, but he doesn't separate shumas meiser. Instead, what he does is he plants it, so he's being toriach, and we said it then grew tenfold, and we're saying he still needs to separate that initial shumas meiser. Shouldn't it be bottle because he, he exerted effort? So shiny gabi meiser, it's different by meiser, don't recall aser to aser, veter zari inche, isura lo zari inche. That when we say that uh, you give meiser and that it can become bottle, then that is by regular, right, mutter stuff. But if it becomes, um, but if you plant oser stuff, like this lady is planting tevel, so then we say aser te aser, right, the extra te aser teaches that there are times when you would even have to separate the, um, you would even have to separate, um, when, 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 when there's a majority, when there's extra growth that you plant, and that would be if you planted something also, if, like for example, this lady is planting this, um, this tevel. Okay, you would still have to separate the Trumas Meiser. Gufa, Omer Chanina Tirtoa, Omer Rabiani. So, Chanina Tirtoa, it says the name of Rabiani. Botsul Shal Truma Shinito, that if you take an onion of Truma and you plant it, Virabu Gidul of Ali Karb. Okay, so you took uh, an onion of Truma and you plant it. And now the extra growth is, is, is 100 parts to the initial growth. Ali Karu. So mutter. So it's not permitted because the truma becomes bottle. A hundred parts to one. Lememer, is that to say the gidule heter malin is So is that to say that what grows beheter, right? That this new growth is going to be, is going to nullify the truma. Vyatsanan gidule truma, truma. We say, we have a mission that says that what grows from truma remains truma. And yet over here we're saying that what grows from it is mevatal the truma. So, begidule gidulin karminum. When we say that the extra growth could be mevat the truma, that's when we, about gidule gidulin, right? So, if you take truma and you plant it, what grows from that remains truma. If you replant that, so that's gidule gidulin, and that can become bottle in a hundred parts to one. 
Honami Tonina, but this is also taught in the Mishnah, Gidule Gidulin Chulin, that the, the growth of the growth, the second degree growth is Chulin. HaKamashwan is coming to let us know, Afil Bedavr She'ein Zaru Kole. What Rabbi Yana is teaching is that even Bedavr She'ein Zaru Kole, that its seed does not decompose, we still say that Gidule Gidulin would be Chulin. But we learn in the Mishnah, Tevel, Gidul of Mutarin, Bedavr She'ezrao Kole. That when it comes to Tevel, what you plant from it, right? If you then replant it, it becomes mutter. Only if it's a davish zaru kale. Only if it's something that its seed decomposes. About davish ain't zaru kale, zaru kale. But if it's something that its plant, that its seed does not decompose, gidule gidulin asurin. Then even the gidule gidulin would be asurin. So we we seem to be saying that this that when it's davish ain't zaru kale, something that its seed does not decompose, then then its state. Um, sort of stays intact throughout. So therefore, it's davar she'ein zaro kale. So then I would think that afidu gidule gidulin remains trume. It does not become bato. So ribuye ribuye de rabu gidulin alikaru mutar kamash malon. No, but what it's teaching us is look. In a situation where it's the majority, then it is bato. Right? Meaning when we say that the tevel, the gidule gidulin remains tevel, that's only talking about if it's not the majority. Right? So if it's um right. So if it's um. Or, 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 right, so when it comes to Truman, what Rabiana is saying is that, is that specifically when it, when, when there's a majority, right, Viravu, that when you have this Truman and you plant it and there's more Truman than, 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 there's more new stuff than there is Truman, so at that point it become, right, 100 parts to one, only at that point it would become bottle, otherwise it would maintain the state of Truman. Friends, that was Daf, um, Nuntes of Mesech Nunadarim. The first part of the we learned an interesting distinction between trume and uh, uh, konam, right? Both are things that technically you can be a uh, matir, but by a konam, by a vow, we dafka encourage you to do ataris nadarim, right? As we saw from Rabnosan, that anybody who makes a nether, it's like he makes a bama, and anybody who is makai the nether, it's like he offers a korban on that, on that bama, right? So we encourage you to uh, do ataris nadarim, therefore we treat a konam, like a davashesh lamatirin, and therefore it doesn't become bottle as opposed to truma, even though it, you could theoretically do a Torah, right? you, theoretically you can undo your truma designation, nonetheless we consider it as a davashesh lamatirin, and it can be bottle one part to a um, hundred. We saw a clarification that when it comes to, um, you know, like onions from the sixth year that you plant in the seventh year, we say that uh, it becomes also, it's specifically the new growth that becomes also, but the, but the um, base amount um, remains, um, uh, um, from the sixth year remains permitted. Now it doesn't have Kedusha Shviyas. And we say, but if it's something that you plant in the ground and you exert effort, so then, um, the new growth would be able to be mavatol to nullify the initial growth. Friends, that was Daf, um, Nuntas of Mesechta Nidarm. Open your peace out.